To run a climate change experiment, go to the experiments tab at the top of the page and then click on climate change experiment under the secondary experiments tab. From here, you can enter a name for your experiment. So I'm going to call it Fox Distribution Future. And you can also add a, add a description in here. So I'll just add the scientific name just so I know what fox that is that I'm talking about. Uh, you can add a hypothesis or perhaps a question. This is particularly helpful when sharing your experiment um, between various users. Then click Next. You need to then select the species distribution model experiment that you would like to use as input to this one. So click on the select SDM experiment and click on what um, SDM you'd like to use. So I'm going to use Volpe's Volpe's distribution. This is a, an SDM experiment that I ran just the other day on the current um, climate and environmental variables. I ran this um, experiment using three different models or three different algorithms. I used the boosted regression tree, the Maxent and the neural network. You can run your climate scenarios on all three of these models or perhaps I found that the Maxent model best suited my species so I only want to use this to project um, the species distribution into the future. So in this case uh, the Maxent model was one, the one that I thought performed the best so I'm going to use this in this experiment. I'll click next and then I'll click my to select my future climate data. So again, you've got all your search bars over here. So I'm going to look, I ran my first experiment using the Australian current and future climate data. So I'm going to use the same in my uh, projection experiment. And again, I'm going to try to model that at one kilometer because that is what I used beforehand. And as you can see, you start to get um, a lot of options here for what you'd like to use. So you can, um, I'm going to use the RCP 8.5 um, emission scenario. This is one of the more um, severe emission scenarios, almost the worst case scenario. And I'm going to make sure that I'm using the UKMO HAGM1 um, scenario as well and that'll refine that so I can see here that I've got it for the year 2085, 75, 65, 55 all the way down to 2015. I'm not going to use this one because it may skew my results so I'm just going to go to 2025 and add those layers to my experiment. Double checking that I've got um, I'm happy with the emission scenario and the circulation model and that I'm happy with all the years in there. Again, you can add more than one emission scenario to see how it changes across sort of a more severe emission scenario compared to a more, um, a more sort of conservative uh, scenario or model. Once you're happy with that, select next and hit start experiment. Again, um, it'll make sure you filled out everything and once it's happy with that, it'll take you to the experiment results page where it will give you a sort of an update on what's happening with that experiment. So I can see here that my seven um, emission scenarios are running and that, um, that the experiment's going through. So this can take again up to around usually only a couple of minutes, but it does depend on how many scenarios and circulation models you're using, how many years, as well as how many models or algorithms you've put into the experiment. You can go off, do whatever you like, you don't have to stay on this page, you can close down your computer and the BCCVL will send you an email when your experiment is ready for you to come back and have a look.